Welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Jake Gordon and Alex Sword. Mike Soroka towed the mound for the fourth time this season for the Gwinnett Stripers yesterday. And for the first time this season, he got hit hard. You know, he didn't have any walks. He just got hit. Ten hits, three innings, eight runs, seven earned. It was a bad start. And listen, I've talked a lot about Soroka looking very major league ready, but there has been some concerns and there were always going to be bumps in the road on the road to this return. You know, he's not going to come back and look like an all-star. But do I think he could be a piece to this team later in the season? Absolutely. Now, why this it came up at such an un, inopportune time is because I thought there was a good chance he could be the guy on Friday. We have a doubleheader today. Um, this will probably go during the doubleheader, um, which opens up a spot for a six starter on Friday night at home at Truist Park. With another good uh, start on Sunday, I thought Sorok was going to be the guy. I don't think he probably will after that, but I'm not also going to completely count it out because, listen, at this point, it's almost about that moment. It doesn't mean he's going to stick with the team after the fact, but I do think he's stretched out. I do think he's good enough to be a major league starter right now. And if they wanted to give him this moment this early in the season at home at Truist Park, it'd be one of the biggest moments of the season. I just think purely off bringing him up, the Braves would win the game. Like, if he just didn't give up 10 runs, I just feel like it'd be one of those nights where it's like the ghost in the building are working on your side, and it would be cool to give him this moment if you thought he's healthy and he's ready. I, I wouldn't be against it, even after a bad performance. Yeah, I mean, everybody has rough starts. And, you know, looking at the Bison's roster, that wasn't exactly a murderer's row, which is a little disappointing. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it happened. Guys get touched up. You know, sometimes you just don't have your best stuff that day. Uh, and the, the thing is, on Friday, you know, Typically, if you look at it before the season, you say, oh, it's the Orioles. Oh, yeah, no, the Orioles are good. <laughs> the Orioles are really good. Yeah. Um, they're probably going to give the Braves some issues. But, uh, you know, if this was the Marlins, too, which the Marlins, I believe, uh, are Thursday, uh, I would say, oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go for it. We own these guys. Let's 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 put the squeeze on them. It's a perfect time. Offense is probably going to ream them. But, uh, you know, I don't think level of competition matters. I'm with you, Chase. I think if you're going to give anybody this opportunity, I think you should give it to him, especially because it's probably only going to be for one game and you don't have to make any permanent decisions. Uh, just let him go out there on a Friday night at home, get the crowd get his going. Feet People wet. are going to be amped up. Yeah, I think it's a perfect opportunity, too. A couple of things. Uh, you know, he was single to death. Uh, Braves defense is going to be a lot better than Gwinnett. So, you know, you could count some of those uh, singles into the Braves' favor. And also, the club has never been afraid to call up a guy – who, you know, Dodd, Schuster, we saw these guys, Schuster really struggled and they still gave him a chance. And I get the injuries things, but this is still one of those situations where the Braves are going to be short on starters. They don't, this early in the season, nobody's going to get short rest. I can guarantee that. So that is off the table, in my opinion. It's going to be a bullpen game or somebody's coming up. Uh, and I think all the points that you guys made, you know, Soroka deserves this, you know, give it to him. This is, we're in, it's the fifth month of the year. Let's give it to him. It's not going to be yeah. a make or break for your season. And, and it's just to me, I think the only reason you don't give it to him is a confidence thing. Do you think he comes up here and gets blown up and loses confidence? In my opinion, I don't think he does. Like I never think Soroka's ever had a problem with confidence. He's always oozed it. And I just don't see him coming up. He's had so much success in the majors. He knows it's going to be a process getting back to the level that he was. He knows it's probably not going to happen this year and it may not happen ever but to get to that point, it is going to be a process, and he knows what it's going to take. I don't see him as like a young guy. Like I almost feel like if you're talking about confidence issues, because there are two other options. They could give XRS to Dodd and Schuster, and they could bring them back. I almost think if you're talking about confidence issues, if they go out in there and get blown up again like they did last time, they probably have a bigger chance of losing some confidence than a guy like Soroka, who's coming back from two AC or, uh, Achilles injuries and has already – proven that he can be a really really good major league pitcher so uh, to me I'm still if it, if it were up to me and it's not up to me and it's probably good that it's not up to me I'd give him the opportunity but we'll see what happens I, I also could see a bullpen game um, we did get two days off uh, this weekend so the bullpen should be fresh this entire week but you're also playing 17 straight games like I know we got two days right but we got two today and you're playing you know 15 games in the next 14 days or something like that, or 14 days in the next 13. So, yeah, I think a lot of it's going to depend on how these games go as well. You know, if, if Spencer Strider comes out and gives us eight scoreless or Charlie Morton throws seven scoreless, I think it makes this decision for a bullpen game a little easier. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to be a wait and see type thing. Hopefully they take care of business against the Mets and Marlins and uh, makes the decision a little easier.
Yeah, talking about uh, mentally weak and mentally strong. I mean, yeah, you mentioned it. Soroka's come back from two catastrophic injuries, like the worst injury in sports twice has come back. He is the most mentally strong individual I have ever seen. This never happens. When he makes his return, it'll be one of the biggest stories of the year. It might happen this year. It might happen later. But it'll be one of the biggest stories in sports. Yeah, and I to me, I, I hope they give him the opportunity because I think he's earned it. I think he's deserved it. I don't think he's as bad as, as, as his last outing. I mean, before that, he'd only given up like two runs over 14 innings in Gwinnett. He was pitching really well. I, and I just think, like I said, I think the ghost in the building will be working for your side if you give this, this give him this opportunity. And a Friday night at Truist Park, it's going to be a sellout against a good team in the Orioles. It's going to be a fun night. And if they give him that opportunity, and who knows, what if he goes out there and deals? And I'm not saying deals throws six shutout innings, but throws four or five one-run ball. Gives him a little more confidence. So I don't see the harm in doing it. I do agree with you, Jake. It will depend a lot on what happened. If you're if we're using the bullpen a lot over these next few games, I don't think they're going to go bullpen game. It'll probably be Dodd or Schuster or Soroka. And at that point, it's like if we're talking about confidence here, who's the most who's the most mentally strong of the three? We know. I'd have to go with Mike Soroka.